Natalie and I'm Laurent and uh, since 2003 we formed the art duo LLND. We do audiovisual performances and artworks with different mediums and always we focus on the relationship between sound and image. In the past years we made different cinematic devices to create artwork series of paintings, photography, installations, um, for example, you can see here a, a device we, we made uh, in which we induce sound waves inside the water just here and we can create those shapes and all sorts of imagery. So let's keep this for a later time when we will be doing our performance. So here's another example of an artwork we created using this same device. It is a photo print of a tone of 8 hertz. 8 hertz is very important for us because it is also very important for all of us and it is uh, the brain wave frequency of the awakened state. Uh, it's also according to Schumann's resonance the earth's magnetic field's frequency. So Natalie and I we, make to, we like to make the, the link uh, between man and earth and something that really uh, bound, binds us is the water that is inside the human body, inside the human brain, about 80% and you also have the same amount of water on earth and like you see water vibrates and we are connected in, in this uh, peculiar way. So vibrating water, cymatics, what's really this thing? Cymatics, it is the science of visualizing sound through water, oils, sands. It was called cymatics in the 60s by Hans Jenny. He was a really great scientist and he was saying that sound is everything. And within the great voids of space came a sound and matter took shape. So. Now we can go back in time, way back in time, with uh, Pythagoras. And Pythagoras found a numerical explanation of the universe and revealed the numerical ratio which determined the intervals of the musical scale. So the musical scale originated from his research which was deeply inspired by his studies of the planets orbiting. For our new performance, we are using the orbital frequencies of the planets scaled to the hearing domain as a sound. And we vibrate these tones in water or sands with the devices here. Uh, here's some planets, uh, orbits we visualized in water. They were recorded in, in our studio, especially to show you here tonight. So you can get an understanding of different planets have different orbits, make different sounds, and then produce different shapes inside the water. So the planet frequencies we use, they come from calculating the time it takes each planet to orbit the sun and their rotational speed. Pythagoras, he speaks about the harmony of the spheres. But later in the 17th century, we had Kepler who made more calculations and defined what he calls the music of the spheres. So we will here present to you um, some extracts of our performance um, for which we will show our interpretation of the music of the spheres which are both to see and to hear.
sun vibrating Mercury, Venus resonating Mercury, Earth resonating Venus, Earth, resonating. Earth, Mars, resonating. Jupiter Saturn resonating. Resonating. Uranus Neptune resonating. Resonating, 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 resonating. Resonating, Understanding the universe has been a great questioning over the ages, from the most ancient civilizations to the contemporary science. Nowadays, we can digitally visualize the noise of the deep cosmos. We can now he even hear the sound of the universe after the Big Bang.
Well, thank you very much. If um, anybody wants to try and make a sound, say a word, he's welcome, maybe one or two person, we still have like one minute or two minutes ahead of us. So anybody like to make a sound in the microphone and see what it looks like on the sand? Participation here? Okay, never mind. Call. 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 